so we hiked out to this little abandoned town that is called Spokane. There's this building here, which we believe is a garage. And then there's this house that we're gonna go explore. And then there's a few things in the fields behind us that we'll go check out as well. Go in this house and see just how sketch these floors actually are. You can just see how old this wood is. I don't think I can fit through this. Careful, there's like a nail too. Yeah. Is this open? Holes, but I think it's pretty sturdy right here. Coming at you, fam. So this would be the entryway, I'm assuming. I've been seeing a lot of wasps and uh, those, the black, like hornets. Okay. So the first thing I've noticed in here is the size of the doorways. They're, they're, they're you, th you think they're big? I think they're small. Look at me. Like, that's not a big doorway. I'm thinking they're big compared to the cabins we saw in Tennessee that were Well, so yeah, that makes small sense. That, that makes sense. I could barely fit through. True. So it makes it really makes you wonder when they, this was built. Yeah. Mind you, the graffiti on these walls is not natural and not from the owners. Unlike the ones in Tennessee, that was all natural. Mm -hmm. All right. And, uh, maybe a bedroom? Yeah, or I wonder if that was the kitchen and this was Wait, this was the kitchen because it's got the plumbing. Plumbing over there. Yeah. Look at the wow, look at the wallpaper. Oh my gosh. Right over there. And it was even covered. Yeah, so several layers. So this wow, okay, so this here is the most original. Or the most recent, excuse me. Then this. Then this. Then this. So it's had four different four different applications. We can see upstairs. That's how decrepit it is like you said tiny this would be the plumbing so i bet this is a sink that was probably the family room and like and this maybe a bedroom or a living room maybe true yeah i guess a dining room like the, the long side of it oh yeah dining room this is such a tiny room like i'm trying to imagine what this was bathroom maybe okay so here's a light so this had electricity so I don't know when electricity became pretty rampant in farmhouses, but it's not super, super old because there's even more wires here. And this looks like a, a thing from a heater. Yeah. Kind of mysterious what this, like, it's hard to say what these, these rooms are. Yeah. This is where Harry Potter sleeps. Under, under the stairs. <laughs> stairs are a little bit sketch. Yes. Oof, yeah, they are a little sketch. This is so well. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it looks like. An old stone well. You see the stone walls over here. People have just shoved things in, it looks like. Yeah. Curious about the steps. I know. What do you think should we do? I mean, we could just try each step at a time. Gotta do pest patrol. Not thin to walk in, no naster. Do you remember Tennessee? This is nothing compared to what we saw there in terms of pests. Oh, and seriously. Massive spiders or something. Yes. Gigantic. Okay, I don't see anything really. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I mean, honestly, it feels pretty sturdy. Like there's no shaking or wobbling or anything. A little bit of That's, bad. yeah. That's not good. That I wouldn't trust. Now, granted, you weigh significantly less than I do. We could give it a try. Yeah, these feel super sturdy. Just that they turn sideways. Yeah. You know, and, and there's that one's bowing a little bit. So imagine going to this one. I don't know. Because you got to put a lot of weight into that step right. to go up. Last thing I want you to do is be going splitsville. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't tell if this was one room. Kind of looks like it. And yeah, that other room back there, like, what's that all about? It's crazy. There was another, like, section of stairs up here that have completely fallen 
sideways. This was the landing, and then it was these stairs again. And they're completely sideways. I'm actually very curious about what's in that room. I know. <laughs> Should I try it? Um, if you do, go slow and watch where your feet are going. I will go slow. Remember, press test, pressure test. You know, everything is sideways, but it's all super sturdy, which is amazing. Yes, it is amazing. How that can be. Now, what you're stepping on right now, I would not trust very much. I would rather you step on the support beam. There is a support beam under me. I'm like super creeped out about that message over there. What's it, say? it says run now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's straight, straight up Blair Witch stuff. Straight up creepy. And there's another room over here. Well, I'm right behind you. Okay. Again, it's, uh, it's broken out, but it's really sturdy. Okay. Run now. Wow. This is the beginning of a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And that one says leave. Have you shown the that you can see through the floor? There's an arrow. There's an arrow pointing us into that room. Oh, you know, I noticed that um, there's an arrow at the bottom of the stairs too. There was. It points up the stairs. Yeah, you're right. Let me come over to you. And then, yeah, it says run now, and then an arrow. And this says leave here, and then there. And there it says Sawyer. Cameron J. Hannah. 42101. That's swell. Yeah. Apparently it's been there a long time. Just a very small room. Just make sure you're pressure testing every step before you put your full weight in. Yeah, they had the nails here most likely for hanging stuff up. Okay. Shelving. Shelf. The whole roof is caved in. Old wallpaper still on the walls up here too. This is something straight out of Blair Witch right here. It is, it's so creepy. Pentagrams drawn on the wall. That's always oh. comforting. So creepy. Yep. Not gonna lie, it's a little intimidating when you look below where your feet are standing at and it's just empty floor. Like wide open gaping holes. Deterioration. That's why you pressure test things. We, we know our comfort level. And now we got to be up in this abandoned house. Like that's so cool. There's our sketchy walkway back. There we go. Sideways stairs. The whole house, if you look, the whole house is shifted to the right. So I'm holding this straight and it shifted. My goodness. Yeah. Right, fam. And the nails that are like connecting the steps. Like, yeah, just bowed out. I think we should spend the night here. Oh boy. <laughs> Find a place to hang the, the hammocks and feel comfortable about them being there. See, very sturdy. They step right there. It's gonna be a stretch to get your legs there, so just be prepared for that. Yep, stay on the corners is good. Nice. Oof. Very good. All right. Thank for long legs. Hey, Ben. All right. Here we go. First part of Spokane accomplished. The beast. Old abandoned car. Yeah, motor's completely gone. This used to be some sort of a racing car, Tiny. Look at There's like numbers on it hmm. and stuff on this door, too. Maybe this car has something on it. People have definitely drawn on it, obviously. Yeah. But trunk's empty. Oh, wow. wow, there's still some upholstery on the door. And some broken glass. Yeah. All oh, the upholstery. <laughs> the knob for the window. Yeah. That's for opening the door. Steering wheel, everything's gone. Every, it's been fully stripped. Same with this one. The broken glass on the ground. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Oh, wow, yeah. Bel Air, I think. My, yeah, my father will well. correct me on that if I'm wrong, but it looks like a Bel Air. Oh. Steering wheel still on this one. Temperature gauge, lights, wow. Oh, hello, little spider. How are you today? Seats are just pushed way back. Oh, so cool. Even, even the old emblems are gone. 
it looks like a Chevrolet Chevy Bel Air, but I also have a feeling I'm not correct on that. So we believe this is another house that has completely collapsed in on itself, or maybe, wow, look at like the stone, yeah. that, which could have been a foundation. Oh yeah. Looking at this though, it, I think it's more of a barn. So you're gonna have like oh. your barn door, which matches the steeple here, or the peak up part. It looks more like a barn. Okay, so then they have their house and their garage and their barn out and their here. Their barn, yeah. Yeah, because clearly this was 50s, 60s probably, based on the time frame of those vehicles thus far. And it was for mining, right? These towns were set up for mining. As far as I know, I think that's when it was founded was for, for gold mining. Another car, another car behind it. Yeah, you're right, bullet holes for sure. Yeah. Which and these have been out here for a long time. People would just be out here target practicing or whatever, but. Yeah. This is like, wow. It's literally rammed into this because the door is bent what? where the fender is bent. And it just this is this car here is old it's like an old ford yeah. this is a mafia car here tuners it's so cool look at your handbrake right here pull that back it stops your car wow you got radio dials still 30s or 40s Jeez. i mean it makes sense for about the time frame this town would have gone up Damn. wow this is cool this car literally came in here and smashed into this one because that whole front door and fender are bent according to the other one. So it's like they just like, we knew we were going to trash these cars here. So it's like, screw it, let's just bang into them and just leave them. Right. And I mean, you had to have some speed to create that much damage. Yeah. Like this fender is damaged. <laughs> My dad, I need you to comment and let me know the years of these vehicles and the makes and the models. If you can make it out. Oh, wow, yeah. Just the way they used to make things, you know? Yeah. People having a Coca-Cola party over here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> wow, everything is gutted from this. The entire dashboard is gone. Is Steering hell? wheel's gone. Seats are gone. Yeah, the whole front of the vehicle is gone. Oh, wow, yeah, good point. I feel like this is a Studebaker. This one is definitely more of a luxurious car. Yeah, it is. Just by the style of the doors. That's what I'm thinking. It's yeah. more of like a Studebaker. I'll need that John Olney confirmation on that one. Boy, that is a strong spring. After all these years, it still works. Hi, guys. Maybe you can get it running. Yeah. Maybe, maybe put a little extra oil in it and grease it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the last of the six vehicles is this truck. There's nothing to it. It's wow. just the cab. The whole bed of the truck is gone. In the front, like everything. Oh yeah, you're right. The engine's gone the again. Whole engine. Yeah. This is when it's so good to have a wide angle camera that I can be this close and still get it all. Beautiful. I want to be on a horse. Should we G or uh, Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption this and just go knock them off and take their horses? <laughs> By the way, Tiny, if you hear all the buzzing, it's just it's just flies. I thought for a second I disturbed a nest or something. Gasoline, battery, temperature, oil press, which oil pressure. Dad, you'd love this. This is super cool. So if you're connecting the dots, you have what we believe to be a garage, just based on the big opening there. We have a house, some sort of fencing, maybe where they were having horses or something. We have one of six vehicles that we have discovered. So we're gonna continue and see what else we can find. By the way, did you notice that Somebody has spray painted like a back butt and Yes, <laughs> yes. You can make a little butt cheek. I was like, oh, yeah. good for them. Yeah, so this could be a an old cellar of sorts. Or yeah, or a tomb. A tomb. It's got UFOs spray painted on it. It's got a cross. I believe that this is a UFO, either abducting Bigfoot or a cow. <laughs> so this 4-8 lost cross thing. That and, looks like an elephant to me. Yeah. I could see that, definitely. Up there we have a wasp nest. Oh, and the mudover. Oh, nest. and mudover nest, yep. And inside here, oh, we have another UFO with an alien in it. And it looks like another weird Aztec drawing. Yeah, it really does. Old shelving. Some pretty suspicious red marks up there. Yeah, maybe blood. Blood. I mean, blood. Oh yeah. 
Oh, get out, shit. Get out, get out. Oh. Those things, those things are mad. Oh. Oh. They're not following us, right? No, I don't. <laughs> I stepped on something. It was like a metal long box or a wood long box and they just started coming. I saw them. Oh, get shit. out, get out. Oh, get shit. out, get out! Oh, get out, get out! <laughs> Thank God we got out of there. Great reaction. <laughs> oh, good reflexes. Yeah. All right, yep, let's get away from that. Whew, yeah, that was uh, most likely just stepped on a nest of some kind of bee or wasp. Oh, I'm so proud of your reaction skills because I was starting to freak out, like, boom, immediately. And I was like, please don't get near me. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. That got some adrenaline flowing for sure. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, loud buzzing all around is very, very terrifying. Hmm. Oven? Yeah, it looks like it. They're very ornate. Wow. Look at that. Well, why the double feature? Hmm. That's hmm. interesting. Is that common? Or it, it seems like a very fancy thing. Yeah, I don't know. If you know if double ovens were a thing, leave a comment so we know. That's what they look like. Also imagining them in that tiny home. Yeah, yeah. By the way, this is the backyard for these people. How beautiful. This is definitely a foundation for a building of some kind. Huh. This is very big. I mean, think compared wow, to this yeah. house we were in before, this is massive. Yeah. And this was the basement. Like, this is steep. Yeah, look at here. Wow. Yeah, and this here, this white thing, would have been uh, fluorescent lighting. Wow, uh, yep. And then it looks like maybe window framing over here. Yeah. An appliance of some kind over there. Dang. Yeah, this is old. Real old. You see bolts along the top, so there was something connected above it. But yeah, there's another... Maybe an entrance right there. Yeah, this kind of looks like an entrance here, Tiny. Yeah, I can see that. There to there. Yeah. It's super smooth. Huh. This is dark, so I'll have to put some light on the situation. So we are up in the mountains right now. The sun is setting, as you can see. So we hooked up to some trees. Now we're relaxing with some root via. Just listen how quiet it is. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, get out, shit. get out! Oh, oh, oh. oh get shit. out, get out! Oh, oh, oh. Get out, get out! Oh, oh, oh.